But first, an urgent search to find more victims in a serial sexual assault case. Detectives say one man lured in and attacked teens. He is locked up tonight, but investigators fear he may have victims in several Central Florida counties. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. Yeah, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. Flagler County deputies say 25-year-old Pelfrin St. Fort has lived in several places. They also say he's been in relationships with girls as young as 13. News 6's Molly Reed has the investigation from Flagler County. The sheriff here says that five young girls have come forward so far from different areas in Central Florida, including Flagler County. But detectives have reason to believe there could be more. Parents need to know what their kids are doing on social media because this is a prime example of how predators prey on your kids. Sheriff Rick Staley says they first arrested 25 year old Pelfrey St. Fort in March after fleeing from a traffic stop. Come back to me. Flagler County investigators say St. Fort lived in Orlando. They discovered he was in Flagler to meet a young girl. Ultimately, we determined based on his prior history, we had suspicions he was coming here to meet someone. Investigators say St. Fort was already on probation from a 2020 case where he was trying to meet a minor. They say conversations on his cell phone in March confirmed those suspicions that he was doing it again. This guy is a serial predator preying on uh, young uh, females. Detectives say he had sexual relationships with girls ranging from 13 to 16 years old. They say so far two victims have been identified in Flagler County, one in Orange County, and another in Osceola County. The sheriff says he met them on social media, then led the girls to believe they were in a dating relationship before forcing them to engage in sex acts. The reason that we were able, able to identify the other victims is because there was identifying information in their, their chats. Flagler and Osceola have now charged him. Orange County's charges are pending. They are now working to identify other possible victims. They say records show he had been contacting them since June of 2022. There are multiple other girls that um, he was messaging with that I, I'm not sure of their ages. I'm not sure of any identifying information of them, but it's clear that they did meet. Right now, they say St. Fort is in the Osceola County Jail awaiting court hearings for his charges there. Anyone who believes they may be a victim is asked to call their local sheriff's office and speak with their detectives. In Flagler County, I'm Molly Reed. Getting results, News 6.